I passed this question along to local media as Hurricane Isaac, which will be a hurricane I'm predicting going to make landfall in the New Orleans area, somewhere along the Gulf Coast. This is raw, sweet crude from the BP crisis. You notice it's very carefully sealed. We were shipping this stuff to laboratories. My, my crew with Project Gulf Impact did a great job in covering the uh, crisis. We went out together in the Gulf and were very sickened, at least myself and, and uh, some of my crew were very sickened by the results of this crude in conjunction with the corrects at 9,500 a. Covering the crisis from Grand Isle to Pensacola, we continue to this very day to find oil. Hear stories about people finding oil. We know that the Corexit was designed to sink the oil. We know the oil is down there still. My question is pretty simple. What health effects could this possibly have as this oil is now washed ashore and into neighborhoods uh, by Hurricane Isaac as she comes ashore? Anybody with an answer, I'd love to hear your answer. Oil rain in Louisiana is one thing, but a toxic lake of oil, sweet crude, this stuff smells like sickening sweet honey. That's why they call it sweet crude. The smell is absolutely noxious. The results, we were all sickened. If you saw the videos, I had blister on my tongue. Very toxic with the correct shit. We don't know if the oil did it or the correct shit. We do know that in Pensacola, People were assured, as we were there, my friend Renetto from Ohio came with me to cover the crisis. We were assured that it was safe to be out there in the oil. We soon found out otherwise we were very sickened, at least myself, my roommate, uh, and a friend were sickened by the oil and Corexic. Which one did it, we don't know. Eighty people on that very night would be in the emergency room. So what role will this play in Hurricane Isaac. I wait your response.